Our first snow of the season is in the forecast. It's starting to feel like winter now. And it'll look more like it starting Thanksgiving night. That's when the switch will be flipped at the Holiday Lights Festival. Mayor Jean Stothert wouldn't miss it. She's got an important job that night. Good to see right. you, Mayor. Thanks Welcome right. back. Hi. I get to flip that switch. You do. So I, I look, I, I I look forward to it every year. So what, what is your entire <coughs> role at this event? Is it you're just flipping the switch? Are you talking? Are you going to welcome the guests, the fine people of Omaha, or what? A little bit of everything, but the most important thing is, is to lead the countdown if for the, the lights to turn on and, and really start the season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've done this for many, many years. Um, the, the place for viewing is at the Gene Leahy Mall, which yeah. is at 14th and, and Farnham Street. And uh, it'll be at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, on Thanksgiving night, and we'll really start the festivities then. So it's always a good start of the holiday season. There's also a concert that night at yeah. 7 p.m. at the Holland, and it's a free concert. Mm -hmm. So it kicks off the whole holiday season, but there's a lot of events that will go on, including the ConAgra Ice Rink yeah. also. Yeah. And uh, that for the ninth year, they are sponsoring that. And uh, this year, they have raised their goals. They want to raise enough money to the equivalent of 1.4 million meals. You're talking well, about the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. The Shine campaign. the Light on Hunger campaign, right, right. which the ConAgra Ice Rink, the, the profits for that, mm -hmm. it costs $5 to skate, but that includes your skates. But the money that is raised with that ice rink, mm -hmm. ConAgra has agreed to match dollar for dollar up to $100,000. And that will all go to the food bank of the Heartland. Because, you know, a lot of people were asking the question after that announcement, right? They're going to Chicago. We all thought, well, how's this going to, I mean, it affects a lot of people. But eventually our thoughts turn to this festival. But they're still part of that. They are still part of it. And like I said, they've done it for nine years. Mm -hmm. But it's still part of their mission to yeah. feed the hungry. And it's, it's important to remember that ConAgra will still have a big, presence in Omaha. They are consolidating some of their other spots around town. They'll still have over 2,000 employees mm -hmm. in Omaha and they still will be on that campus. People think that the city owns that campus. We don't. ConAgra owns it and another company out of Minneapolis. It's not for sale, so they'll still be there. Yeah. And so they're still taking a very active part mm -hmm. in the community. The Shine the Light on Hunger campaign is something very important to them. And you'll see those blue bins all around yes. downtown yeah, yeah. like That's we wonderful. did in the past. Um, we encourage people to bring food down when they come down on Thanksgiving night and then also all during the season. Yeah, there's a whole week, uh, well, weeks of activities, though. Mm -hmm. What other activities are there down there? Yes, there's the Wells Fargo. Family Festival that goes on. Um, that will be on the weekend Sunday on the 6th of December. That is from noon till 5 p.m. Um, there'll be different events all over town, including at the Joslin, at the Children's Museum, at the Durham, at the uh, Horse Barn for mm -hmm. the Mountain mm -hmm. Patrol, at the Dale Clark Library, and we'll have Ollie the Trolley moving around downtown to move people around. And like I said, on Thanksgiving night, there is the symphony is playing at the Holland. That's a free concert. So there'll be a lot going on downtown, mm -hmm. including the ice skating at the rink, mm -hmm. too. So what? we encourage people to come downtown. If you could explain uh, to, let's say, there's this conference of mayors, right? And you're all getting together talking mm -hmm. about what's, what's great about your cities. And then you get to this event in Omaha. How do you explain the importance of the Holiday Lights Festival? Well, you know, I think what's so great about Omaha is we have such a very giving community. If you ask for things, people deliver. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just a great representation of how people get together and people help each other and how people in Omaha want to help those that are less fortunate than some of us are. And so it's just a, it's a real giving, real um, close community. And, you know, I do get together mm -hmm. with other mayors. In fact, I was down in Houston in May with, um, uh, there were five other mayors that we did a presentation and I was with the mayor of Seattle and Baltimore and Orlando and Houston and when we talked about what's going on in Omaha compared to these other big cities, um, we have a lot going on mm -hmm. and we have a really good strong community and they're quite envious of what we have here. Yeah, well they should be. Yes, they uh, should when be. When you mentioned the, the, the spirit of giving in the holiday season and, and the shine the light on the hunger mm -hmm. campaign, are there other ways for the people of Omaha and surrounding areas to, to donate uh, in some of these other events going on? Well, you know, <clears throat> always. You know, we, we, we have our shelters, our homeless shelters. Um, you know, their radio stations have been doing drives, mm -hmm. um, um, diaper drives. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of different drives as far as helping those who are less fortunate. And I think people um, are, are very visible during the holiday season of what those opportunities are. 
And, uh, you know, the, for the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign, you can find out more about that on the Holiday Lights Festival mm -hmm. website, holidaylightsfestival.org. And we're looking at that now, okay, right on Okay, good. Cue. But there are, I think there's a lot of opportunities for people in Omaha um, to help out, and, we, and they do. And mm -hmm. that's what's just so great about it. Yeah. What are your plans for Thanksgiving? Before you go downtown to flip that switch, right. what are you up to? Well, Thanksgiving, I usually work. Um, I usually go to the shelters. I like to help serve in the homeless shelters. We end up at the Sienna Francis house and then we go downtown. I do love cooking though, mm -hmm. and uh, I will cook on Thanksgiving. I'll get everything ready. We'll do our, our work we need to do during the day and in the evening, and then we'll go have our dinner after we turn the lights on downtown. Mm -hmm. So that's just something I like to do, and I love to cook. I make everything homemade, bread, everything, right. I, and, and I, I like doing that. It's relaxing. Well, you must get up pretty early if you have to get, I get up cooking really in, early. <laughs> and you have to get all these other events in, but the holiday lights, uh, Thanksgiving lighting ceremony at yes. six o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, HolidayLightsFestival.org is a website you can go to. Mm -hmm. We're going to get some snow this afternoon, so we want to ask, are the snow crews ready? Because you know more than anybody else how uh, people get excited about the snow removal yes, in the city, don't I you? Yes, I do. When it, <laughs> there's a snowstorm, I tend to get a lot of calls and a lot of emails, but we are ready. Um, the crews are coming in today at noon, although the extra crews, although it's not so, supposed to start snowing till later on today, but we're ready. All the materials have been bought. The brine is made, the equipment has been tested out. We've hired 18 private contractors this year to do the residential areas. Mm -hmm. um, we're not gonna pre-treat on this snow today because the streets are still pretty warm. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to do that. That helps them or prevents them from icing up. But we will have the plows out and we're ready. And okay. I bought a new snowblower last night. So if you need any help, <laughs> I, can, I can help the city out. You, know. <laughs> you are such a generous soul. It is Mayor's a big operation uh -huh. to yes. plow this city. We I have 5,000 lane miles of oh, streets. Wow. So it's a big operation. It is. Thank you, Mayor, Mayor Stockton. You bet. Thanks for having me. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy okay. Thanksgiving to both of you. Thank you. Guests of the morning, Blend.